Looking for a little encouragement for the day? Here's Dale his song, Enjoy for the Journey. Hello, everyone. I'm Del Hissong, and I just appreciate you tuning in today on Facebook and checking out the devotional that I want to give. I've been doing this for the last 14 or 15 months. Today, I'm standing in North Carolina in front of a swimming pool, and there's a reason for that. I was reading in John chapter 5, once again, verses 1 through 16, about the pool at Bethesda and how the lame and the blind would gather around that pool and they would just stay there until someone could help them. They believed that, like occasionally or maybe once a year, that there was a stirring of the water in the pool, and the first one to get into the pool would be healed. That's what they believed. Well, Jesus came to that pool one day there in Bethesda, and there's a lame man just laying there. He'd been there for 38 years. Think about that, 38 years. And Jesus looked at this lame man, and he said, do you want to be made well? And the lame man said, yes, but every time there's a stirring of the water, I have no one to pick me up and to carry me. And when I do get to the pool, someone always gets in there before me. He needed help. He needed someone to help him. And Jesus simply said to him, take up your bed and walk. And that lame man that had been there for 38 years was able to stand pick up his bedding, and he began to walk. Now, the problem was it was the Sabbath, and you weren't allowed to carry your bedding or do anything on the Sabbath. So all of the religious people of that day would come to him and say, what are you doing on the Sabbath? He said, I was, I was healed. They said, who healed you? He said, I don't know. It was later on that he met Jesus once again, and later he was able to say, it was Jesus that healed me. You know, people today are looking for an answer. He needed healing. Other people have financial problems. They're looking for a job. They're looking for an answer, and the answer can be found in Jesus. Jesus is the answer. Whatever it is that you have need of today, take it to the Lord. Take it to Jesus and realize that he can help you. You didn't need to get into the pool first. He needed a healing touch from Jesus. And after 38 years, Jesus came his way, was able to say, take up your bed and walk. So friends, whatever your need is, whatever you're looking for, the answer, it's found in Jesus. So go to him and he can help you and he will help you. And I believe this week you can have joy for your journey, your everyday living, if you'll go to Jesus for the answer, because he is the one that can help you. God bless you. Have a great week. Do you know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? You know, the greatest decision I ever made in my life was when I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior. Jesus died on the cross and paid the penalty for your sin and my sin. He did that over 2,000 years ago. And for anyone who will repent of their sin and accept Jesus Christ as Savior, He will wash your sin away, come into your heart and life to save you and take you to heaven one day. But the only way that we can really have joy is to know Jesus Christ as our Savior. So right where you're at, you could pray and ask God to forgive you of your sin and save you. And maybe you're saying, pray? I don't even know what I'd say to God. You can use your own words. You can use mine. But just quietly, just bow your head and pray and say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I pray that you would forgive me of my sin. Come into my heart, come into my life, and save me. Did you pray that prayer? If you did, and you really meant it, Jesus Christ forgave you of your sin and came into your heart and life to save you. And believe me, there's not a greater decision that anyone that can make than that of knowing Jesus Christ as their Savior. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell loved ones to tune in every week as we talk about joy for the journey and the importance of their spiritual lives in this day and age in which we're living. And I trust that I'll see you again next week. God bless you and have a great week as you live joy for the journey. Did you just accept Christ into your life? 
If so, we would love to hear from you so we can pray for you. Please email us at info at joyforthejourney.media so we can rejoice and celebrate this life-changing decision that you have made. We would also love to email a link to you with information that will help you start your Christian walk with the Lord. Your exciting journey starts today.